Hello everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the ascendant and major adverse aspect to Venus in a natal horoscope. People with these aspects may not think they are attractive as they actually are. There may be changes made to their appearance in an attempt to appease themselves and others. Self-confidence will bring about self-esteem. They may need to learn to be happy with who they are. The love and romantic life may be turbulent, tumultuous, and with many upheavals. This person's approach to love may be very different and in conflict to the outer personality indicated by the sign on the first house cusp. People with this ascendant in a major adverse aspect of Venus may be difficult to appease. There may be consternation and frustration over not having ample funds at certain periods in life. There may be ability to be successful in artistic endeavors, but much effort may be needed to accomplish this. Opportunities may be squandered due to complacency and lethargy. There may be an idealistic way of viewing others, as these people may often overlook transgressions and defaults of friends and acquaintances. There may be a tendency to rely on others for self-assurance. The stature of this person in life may be significant to him or her. Some famous people with these aspects include renowned musician, singer, songwriter, actor Mick Jagger, artist, post-impressionist painter Paul Cezanne, supermodel, fashion designer Kate Moss, television host, producer, author Pascal Servan, and actor, director, producer Mel Gibson. Well, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the ascendant and major adverse aspect of Venus in a natal horoscope. Stay tuned next time where I will be dissertating and talking about the ascendant conjunct Mars in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis on a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because a person, astrologically, is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people stay well.